Hello everyone. We've all said this at some point in time that life is too busy to do anything substantial. And now, life has actually given us an opportunity to stay at home and do something substantial during this COVID-19 crisis. But it does come with a price associated with it, the stress, anxiety, and uncertainties that are lurking behind. The question is, what are you doing to stay positive and grab this opportunity? This is what a few of us friends in Sydney are doing. It hasn't been an easy transition, but as with everyone else, I have been doing my best to adapt. Um, and in relation to what I've been doing and diverting, as far as my creative juices are concerned, cooking. I love to cook and I love, love, love trying out new recipes for my family and of course to treat yourself too. So um, cooking has been one of the avenues to channel my creative juices. Film host, scene eight, take seven. Action. You should be kidding me. You better get it done or you are done here. To retain my passion, filmmaking, social distancing forces me to become director, actor, spot editor, location coordinator, and sound engineer at the same time. My team does the same. It is stressful and challenging, but at the end, together we make the story. Work from home could be challenging at times, but optimist in me is looking for positives. I consider myself extremely lucky to be the part of that workforce who could deliver their job remotely with the help of technology. Indoors could be suffocating, but it's giving you that extra time for family sharing and bonding. Working from home meant that I was sitting at my desk for the whole day, barely getting any movement in. So I decided to start doing yoga and yoga is something that I've never done before. Um, it was really challenging initially, but it helped see a lot of improvements for me physically and mentally. Believe it or not, I'm actually enjoying these trying times, these times where we have to maintain social isolation. It's just helping me uh, spend more time with my family and also to bring the creativity in me. Using recycled copper, uh, which I get from electrical of goods, and using gemstones together with them and creating interesting jewelry has been my uh, passion. Uh, so now I have a whole team of creative people in my house who make a team. So for me, the lockdown hasn't been too bad. I am a homebody and um, I'm quite enjoying being at home and I've been using this time to sort of enjoy the, you know, comforts that we've been building, enjoying the little pleasures. The two hours that we're saving from not commuting, I'm sort of using to um, spend some time with my husband and just bond and play with my cat. I'm also trying to teach myself how to paint digitally, which has been a lot of fun for me. There are some days, you know, where you wake up and you're feeling a bit anxious about what's happening in the world. And I find coloring is really soothing. As a healthcare worker working in many sites, I travel a lot and working from home actually saves uh, a lot of time for me. Yeah. But what I'm missing is my weekend cricket and weeknight uh, badminton. So I have to find some alternatives. I can't uh, just stay still, I have to be active, come on. Let's play. I'm fortunate to be working remotely but I do have a young family to care for. So not much time for hobbies, but what actually brings positivity to my living space are my house plants, literally.
Realizing that there cannot be a better timing, I'm trying my hand at growing some food. It gives me great pleasure to just walk amongst the fruit trees in our backyard and now I know what I've been missing. Go into a cafe, grab a cappuccino and enjoy the moment. I miss just going in and enjoying the people and the company around me and that's something that I'll do immediately. First thing I do once all this is over, I'll call for a big party with all my friends and loved ones. I certainly look forward to being back with my family at work and so look forward to catching up with all my dear friends. One thing I've realized during this lockdown is that I don't actually go out enough. I did not go to the beach this summer. I kept making a plan. I did not go to Blue Mountains enough and I kept making that plan that I will go, I will go. And now I really regret not going <laughs> and now I can't, right? So once the lockdown ends, I plan to definitely make that trip. As soon as this finish, I like to go out and play cricket and badminton and meet all of my friends. I miss them a lot and I miss the games. My brother's family live in Canberra and they haven't been able to visit us for a long time. So you're really waiting to see them. Uh, and also I really want to catch up with my friends. I will go on a picnic with my family to the mountains to be immersed in nature and also to exchange smiles with people that I don't even know.